Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from TechFans here. So in previous video, we have unlocked the bootloader of our uh, CMF uh, by nothing phone one. So in this video, we will be uh, installing or uh, routing this uh, device. So for that reason, I have the guide opened in the Exda in my uh, system. So here you see that we have this particular things called init boot. So this init boot is important uh, like in order to make your device root you can't just directly uh, flash the uh, magisk zip file because we don't have the uh, custom recovery as of now so for that reason we will be following this particular method so here uh, the procedure procedure is uh, straightforward but only thing is like uh, as you see in our previous video we took the backup of uh, our build number like here we have it is 3.0.2025042125 uh, this one so here you see that uh, uh, 0.3.0 is not at all there so we may need to uh, make this uh, init uh, file so to have the init file i have told in my very first initial introduction video that you need this uh, files right so you need these files, whichever you, if you are, for example, if you are in this particular one, make sure to download all these uh, important files, right? So uh, this particular uh, image dot uh, image dash boot dot seven z will contain the init dot boot. Okay. So if I open my stock framework here, I have uh, all my uh, downloads. So here, if I open this uh, image dot boot, inside here we have the Init dot boot file. Okay, so uh, you have uh, you need to download this file in order to proceed further. That's why I told you in the initial video itself, you please uh, download all the required files. Okay, so now I have it in here. I can just right click and extract it. So here I have the extracted one. I can open it. So here I have init dot uh, boot file. So this is there now. You need to copy this particular file uh, to your uh, mobile. That is the first one. So for that I will open here and. I will click here. Okay, my device is already connected, so I will enable the file transfer. Okay, so I will copy this init dot boot, and I will paste it in the internal. As simple as that. Okay. Next thing is I need uh, the uh, Magisk manager. Okay, Magisk uh, APK. So for that I can go to Magisk GitHub file. So the latest one is uh, 29.0 in when you check it in future or something with the number will differ. So you need to download this APK file. Okay, you can click this APK. So this APK get, just got uh, downloaded now. So here I have this Magisco APK. So I will just copy this and then I can go to uh, can go to my device and paste it. Okay, I have now both uh, Magisk and uh, this one in my mobile. So I can now uh, simply go to open my mobile here and open uh, files. Continue. Hello. Okay, in the internal storage, I have my Magisk. First, I will install the Magisk. So Magisk is now installed. So uh, next thing is we need to patch that our init uh, boot file. So for that I will open uh, here my install and here I, it's there select patch file and uh, do. So I will go to same phone one and I will select the image file. Okay. I will now select let's go. Okay. Now it is just uh, getting patched. So patched file will be available in storage emulated and inside the uh, downloads. Okay. It will be like. Um, Magisk patched uh, 29. Okay, so you can uh, open here also and uh, check it. Like here, the patched image is there. This image we need to boot it into. Sorry, we need to install it on our uh, init boot. Okay, we need to flash it. So I will come here and again I will open this in the computer. In open this one and inside here downloads you have this uh, patched Magisk. Okay, I'll just copy and I'll keep it with me. Okay, in the computer. Now you need to open the uh, ADB fast boot tool. For that, I'll open this. Uh, what previous uh, video we have seen how to open it. So for that, I'll open this platform tool. Open this. Here I'll type uh, CMD. Okay. So now we are in the 
cmd i can type uh, adb devices okay now the adb devices uh, it is connected so the next step uh, will be like uh, you once you are in the adb devices you need to uh, reboot to the uh, bootloader okay so for that i'll go to this and type adb reboot bootloader okay yeah this will take some 10 20 seconds let us just be patient okay now it is in the fast boot mode i can type uh, fast boot uh, uh, devices this will you can check it here so next comment is like uh, fast boot flash init uh, init underscore boot and then the uh, file uh, path okay so this is simple like uh, fast boot flash init underscore boot okay or boot underscore init or init underscore boot it is like init underscore boot okay fast boot flash init underscore boot and a boot and then you need to uh, go to that folder here i have my patched magis uh, image file img file I can just drag and drop it in here. Okay, simple. Uh, fast boot flash init underscore boot, and then you can uh, drag and drop this particular file. Okay, now uh, you have uh, flashed to this uh, particular boot, uh, which should be fine. So fast boot uh, reboot. Okay, now I have rebooted. So now we are uh, having this magisk, I will open. Now you see that this is showing like, uh, so magisk it is installed, so which means the magisk is installed and uh, even if you go to super user, there isn't any uh, permission as of now. But you see the magisk is installed, it is even showing uninstalled magisk. So uh, next thing is if you want to check whether it is actually uh, rooted or not, you can uh, uh, go to play store and download uh, root checker and you can test whether uh, the prompt is showing and the root is enabled so this is how you root your device using the uh, init boot uh, patch method so this is uh, kind of pretty much enough so make sure you don't do anything until unless you watch the next video because in the next video we will be taking a backup of uh, very very necessary important partitions from this device so stay tuned for that thanks for watching code moto Thank you.